Chevrolet Cobalt of the second generation, 2011-2021 years of release. Good day if you are wondering is it worth buying a second generation Chevrolet Cobalt and what problems you may encounter during operation, then you are at the right place. So when examining a used Chevrolet Cobalt, you need to make sure that there is no swamp in its trunk. The slots behind the rear bumper during the manufacture of the car, even if they are smeared, but over the years the tightness is broken. As a result, moisture begins to enter the spare wheel well. The problem is not difficult to solve. It's enough to once again grease all joints and seams of the body panels with a high quality sealant. You can also find water at the feet of the front passenger. In this case, all the fault lies with the disconnected branch pipe of the air conditioning system, which serves to drain the condensate. As for the fog prone front optics, this will most likely have to be reconciled. Several methods of solving this problem are known at once, but practice shows that they are ineffective. The cobalt salon looks much more interesting than the exterior, even despite the widespread use of frankly inexpensive materials. Hard interior plastic could creak even on practically new Chevrolet cobalt, and as the mileage increases, the number of extraneous sounds in the cabin only increases. On the other hand, inexpensive finishing materials for the most part resist perfectly. It's not for nothing that the Chevrolet cobalt that are used by taxi services, even with a mileage of 200-250 thousand kilometers, look good inside. As for typical problems, they include the failure of the driver's seat heating. Often it refuses even with a mileage of 50-60 thousand kilometers. To the same mark, the heater motor may start making noise. Cobalt buyers do not have to choose a power unit. For the sedan assembled in Uzbekistan, only 1.5 liter petrol 4 was available. The unit with a B15D2 index is technically very simple and very reliable. The gas distribution mechanism of a 1.5 liter engine uses a chain that can easily withstand 200-250 thousand kilometers. Considering that the chain has to be changed very rarely, most owners never, the replacement cost of 16-20 thousand rubles doesn't seem scary, otherwise engine maintenance is much cheaper. For example, the price tag for spark plugs starts at 350-400 rubles. Only a little disappointing is that the candles need to be changed every 15-20 thousand kilometers. However, the owners of used Chevrolet Cobalt forced to save a lot easily double this interval and still do not face serious problems. To the mark of 50,000 km, the valve cover gas kit begins to snot with oil. This doesn't affect oil consumption in any way, so the problem turns out to be rather aesthetic. If the oil smudges on the power unit do not cause frankly negative emotions, you can postpone the replacement of the gas kit. But postponing the replacement of the leaking expansion tank for later will not work. As a rule, a small plastic fitting on the reservoir becomes the weak link. It breaks down in the range from 60 to 100,000 km. Experienced mechanics when replacing the expansion tank are advised to replace the hose that goes to it with a longer one. In this case, the load on the ill-fated fitting is reduced, due to which it lasts longer. If the power unit of the Chevrolet Cobalt relied on only one, then buyers could choose the gearbox. Naturally, the budget sedan was more often sold with the classic mechanics. There are practically no complaints about the latter. Is that homegrown racers sometimes complain that with active driving, the grip often does not withstand 60,000 km. If you temper the other and drive calmly, then the clutch resource will grow to 100,000 km. With a mileage of 180 to 100,000 km, there is a likelihood of a serious repair of the mechanical box associated with critical wear of the input shaft bearing. However, at the moment such cases are isolated. The automatic transmission GM6030 is much less common on the Cobalt. Largely because of this, there are also few complaints against it. But if you analyze how the automaton behaves on other models, it turns out that it's not without its weak points. The main one is high sensitivity to overheating. If the machine is irregularly overheated, the working fluid of the box will largely lose its original properties, which will immediately affect the resource of the solenoids and the torque converter. Restoring an automatic transmission after overheating is not a cheap pleasure. Just replacing individual parts will cost 70-80 thousand rubles. Nevertheless, there is no need to be afraid of the GM6030 machine gun on the Chevrolet Cobalt. If on a fairly heavy Chevrolet Cruze with powerful engines this box really cannot boast of high reliability, then on a 105 horsepower and lighter Chevrolet Cobalt it causes less problems, especially if the transmission oil is changed every 60,000 kilometers. 
With proper operation, an unpleasant surprise is more likely to be expected from the automatic transmission selector button. At first it starts to creak and seize a little, and then it breaks down altogether. The suspension of the Chevrolet Cobalt is very simple. Front McPherson struts, rear semi-independent beam. The energy intensity of the Cobalt suspension can only be envied. It copes with the unevenness of our roads perfectly. The payment for this is a relatively small resource of many consumables. To the fact that the struts and stabilizer bushings will require replacement every 20-25,000 km, you should be prepared. With frequent full loads, the rear shock absorbers withstand only 50-60,000 km. Rear wheel bearings last a little longer, up to 80,000 km. The resource of ball joints front wheel bearings and silent blocks is on average about 100,000 km. Do not forget about the insufficiently high quality on some details. For example, the native anthers of the CV joints were often torn even with a run of 20,000 km. With the cheapest replacement anthers, the same will most likely happen. Such savings on trifles can hardly be considered appropriate, since very often after the anthers, the CV joints that have suffered from the sand are also replaced by the anthers. On those Chevrolet cobalts that are equipped with anti-lock braking system, you should definitely evaluate the condition of the ABS sensors before buying. In the conditions of our winters, when the roads are abundantly watered with reagents, they soar very quickly, after which the correct operation of the anti-lock braking system is no longer discussed. For the rest, apart from the planned replacement of brake pads and discs, you will not have to remember the Chevrolet cobalt brake system. The steering is not particularly troublesome, unless on high mileage specimens you can find small smudges from the places where the hydraulic booster hoses are crimped. An excellent reason to ask the seller for a discount, since a new pressure hose will cost no less than 5-6 thousand rubles. They are greeted according to their clothes, and they are seen off according to their mind. This famous proverb fits perfectly with the Chevrolet Cobalt. An ugly looking sedan of an American brand with an Uzbek registration turned out to be not only spacious and inexpensive, but also very reliable. By adhering to the manufacturer's recommended service intervals, serious problems should not be expected from either the powertrain or the gearbox. As for the suspension, the short service life of some consumables is fully compensated by their low cost and the ability to replace them in any garage. An indirect sign of Cobalt's reliability is the fact that this model has long been used by taxi companies. If you're the owner, then be sure to leave a comment about this car. Your review will definitely help others with the choice of a car.